Hi, I'm Indeed. How are you? Are you having a good time over there? Where is it? Vancouver? In Burnaby. Vancouver? What? Burnaby. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful city. Been there many times. Not. <laughs> not been there once. Nice. Nice. So, what were you saying? Okay, from Catherine Rintamaki. I think you both will travel very well together in Paris, obviously. <laughs> but, and this is what I was saying, be very, very, very careful of your wallets, purse, money. There are a lot of pickpockets everywhere. The Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, flea markets, all the tourist places. Be careful, ATMs don't go alone. Nothing happened to us uh, in Paris, but something did when we went to Italy. Oh. We were not as careful there and had a bag of shopping taken from under our table at lunch. Lessons learned though, so keep all your shopping together. The gift shop in the Louvre is so gorgeous. So many beautiful gifts you can bring home to family and friends. The French pharmacies have beautiful cosmetics and some of them are licensed to carry Chanel. When we went there, they were 20% off, so we bought more, of course. The little French boutiques are really, really lovely and everything is done nicely. Take bubble wrap and big Ziploc bags for your breaker rolls, really came in handy. Cannot wait to go back, still saving. I know you will love it there. So much to see and do. Sorry this is so long. <laughs> Just want to pass the info off to you, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. That's very nice of you and, and like very, very informative. Yeah. Very informative. Very informative. Thank you very much. Thank you. One more. This one, Pepsi? Uh, yeah, please. Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. We're supposed Hi. to eat tomatoes. Hello. Oh, look at this. Look at how good this looks. Damn, damn, damn. Where's your tomatoes? They're not here. I just wanted to say briefly hi, but I'm gonna turn the camera around because I look a hot mess. I literally just rolled out of my bed, had breakfast and brushed my teeth, but I don't wanna be on camera. Okay, so I wanted to show you some stuff. I'm donating this to Value Village, a bunch of stuff. Uh, these old shoes we're donating as well. This, I don't know if I wanna give to Plato's because it's Lululemon and TNA, I don't know. Maybe I'll just donate it to Value Village. It just seems like a lot of work to go to Plato's for it. Returning some old shoes, mailing out a package. So let's go back in a second. So Delicious Delights came here yesterday and she found this and this is exactly what we want because you know this is like really really expensive. So we have this obsession for five bucks. Another obsession. There's a Danny for fifty, yeah, no. Danny sixty, that's kind of ludicrous. I would really consider doing this, it's just I don't know. Not within budget right now, but that is a really good price for that. Hey 
Hey guys, we're at Value Village. We just came from Plato's. We're gonna check it out and see what they have inside. It seems a lot really, really busy today. Lots of cars, lots of people. Let's go check it out. So what bag is this? 20 bucks. Gina and Ozzy, they still have the, oh, they okay. lowered this down to 40. I think this was like 50 before, wasn't it? I don't remember. They have a diesel watch for 30. Super Mario 2 for 20 bucks, kind of a lot. Super Nintendo for 100 bucks. Kind of excessive, but I don't know really much about those. Oops. Raven. Yeah, Bulgari. Look at that. 12 99 These are expensive as hell. Maybe I'll try them on and see what they look like on. Raven. Why is this $5.99 for this sunglass case? Oh, Bulgari. Here they are. So for this, it'd be like $20. Bucks. Oh, this Interesting. Let's go try them on and see what they look like on. So I don't know what they look like on. What do you guys think? Bulgari? Do these match my face or do they not match my face? It's weird because these glasses are like nearsighted. If I, if something's like near my face, then I can see it, but far away, I can't see anymore. Okay, this is a cute bag. Leather, definitely. Brand, I'm not sure. Twenty bucks though. Mm -hmm. Is that worth it? I don't know. It's a cute bag though. I just don't know what brand it is. For $17.99, and it's not even leather. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Chanel has that inside.
I like really bad allergies. This is Michelangelo. That's leather for sure. David Jones. 30 bucks, huh? No. So runny. Tommy, wow. <laughs> I didn't know they faked Tommy. Oh, we have a Kipling with the monkey. 25 bucks. It's ridiculous. This for $5 is ridiculous, too. guys so I just want to show you the quick haul that we did today um, I spent a total of like 20 37 dollars for everything so the first thing we got was this Givenchy very irresistible eau de parfum shout out to delicious delights she's the one that found it at Plato's closet I saw it on her Instagram and she didn't pick it up because she said she doesn't like the scent I on the other hand do like Givenchy um, perfumed and it's eau de parfum so you know it's more expensive it's the 50 ml one very irresistible the face of this was Liv Tyler I believe I'm not sure if she still is the face of it but definitely something to add to my Givenchy collection. I do like Givenchy scents. And that was $14 plus tax from Plato's. Next, we got this Bulgari um, eyeglasses. Um, I know Bulgari is very expensive. They're probably one of the priciest um, uh, eyewear eyeglasses. Not sunglasses, but eyeglasses to buy. Because I did go shopping for Bulgari sun, uh, eyeglasses before, as you remember. Uh, when I picked the Burberry and the Tiffany ones, which I ended up not getting because, you know. I just am very indecisive. But for the price of $12.99, you can't beat that. You have the jeweled um, frames. There, I think it just needs to be a little bit clean because it has like a little bit of like that all over it. And I want to clean it really well because this has been all over someone's face and people's faces are very dirty. So we do want to, I don't know if it suits me, but I did think that it looked decent on me. I mean, for $13, you can't go wrong. And they did have a case and they priced the case separately. This was $6, which I think is kind of, overtly too expensive but a lot of together with the eyeglasses paying about $19 for both is definitely a deal that's the Bulgari case so these are prescriptions so I don't know I might uh, I don't know which one I want to do first if I want to do the Burberry's or the Bulgari's and bring them to Walmart to put my prescription in them um, but yeah that's basically what we got today whoops and yeah, I think it was a good haul. Less than $40 for Bulgari and Givenchy. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And I mean, these are things, these are, this is thrifting for myself, so it's not thrifting to resell, um, which sometimes you have to do. You gotta treat yourself sometimes to high-end shit and you're not gonna pay an arm and a leg for them. I mean, if I were to buy this at Sephora, probably what, $100? If I were to buy the Bulgari's uh, eyeglasses, brand new. These, this is an older style, but I can I can rock this shit. I mean, I like the kind of the, 
like a pearl, what do you call that? Mother of pearl-ish looking um, sides and the Bulgari and the jeweled. I mean, it looks very like late 80s, early 90s maybe. But regardless, um, if I were to buy these brand new, a brand new pair of eye glasses from Bulgari, it would run me about two eighty to three hundred, I believe. It's very expensive. But yeah, so that's what we got. And we're at Shoppers. I need to mail out something, a package that Sandra bought off my Miss Philly selling page, a Danny leather bag. So we're gonna mail that out right now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little quick haul, but some quick nice things. Don't forget that when thrifting, you don't only have to thrift to resell. You can always thrift for yourself, things that you want. And these are things I definitely need. I, I like smelling good, and I want to be able to see and wear, you know, designer eyewear that at a fraction of the cost. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Has anybody used HydroxyCut before? Because they're on sale for $27, and these are just like $12 cheaper than... And regularly i know my friend used to use this a lot and it worked for her oh cold fx Ugh, i wish i had more money <laughs> anyway they have a lot of good stuff for sale this is like really expensive it's like 40 bucks and it's like half the price <sighs>